Now, so let's get over to NBC's Mike Tirico joining us live now. So, Mike, we've been talking a lot about the women's soccer team. We, of course, we have two Coloradans on that team, Lindsay Horan and Sophia Smith from Windsor. It's safe to say they're going to be in Paris next year. Yeah, pr pretty darn good uh, pair to have from your state and terrific players and a great chance that they'll continue to be a part of what's really one of the dominant teams. I was just mentioning uh, a short time ago the roots of Title IX in the U.S. that you see at Boulder and you see with CSU and Fort Collins, all the great women's programs. We see that when we see Team USA compete on the Olympic scale. It's the success of the soccer team, whether it's World Cup or here at the Olympics. And then the women's basketball team, they're going for an eighth straight gold medal. So there's so many great female athletes that part of Team USA and really have been the outperformers on Team USA over the last several games. And that's likely to continue here in Paris a year from today. Just like Lindsay and Sophia, of course, there are so many athletes we already know and love, but this is also an opportunity for us to learn some new names that we're going to be cheering on for years to come. Any other up and coming athletes that we should be looking out for? You know, Blake Rabbit is a great athlete in a sport that maybe we don't follow when we're covering sports on a regular basis, and that's sport climbing. She's uh, from there in Colorado, and that's a sport that debuted at the Tokyo Games and will continue here at Paris, one of the many different sports that we'll see at the Olympics. And that's what I love about the Olympics. Not only is it the chance to see athletes from where you live, but also athletes in other sports that you don't ever spend the time to watch if you're sitting down with friends to watch a game or putting on a jersey to cheer for the Broncos or the Rockies or the, the champion Nuggets. That's the joy of the Olympic Games, and we're going to see plenty of those athletes, including a sport that's being added to the Olympics this year, breaking, which is breakdancing for some of us, but it's an international sport with a world championship. It's called breaking, and it will be one of the sports on the program for these Olympic Games here in Paris. I am so excited to see that. So one of the unique things about this Olympics will be the events happening right in the city with those iconic landmarks as the backdrop. What else will be different compared to past Olympics? Yeah, well, we have one of those iconic la landmarks right behind us, right, in the Eiffel Tower. Beach volleyball will be at the foot of the Eiffel Tower. This is bringing a bunch of sand there and a net and some crowd and DJ and all the music and the energy. And that will be probably as happening a scene as we'll have anywhere at the Olympic Games. At Versailles, they'll have equestrian. At the Plaza, which is called Place de la Concorde, but not too far from the Eiffel Tower, they'll have that sport climbing, or not, not sport climbing, I should say, but breaking that I mentioned before. Also, three-on-three -three basketball, which in the Olympics is called 3v3 basketball, skateboarding, BMX cycling. It's all going to happen, these very modern sports, in front of a place that's been around for three, four hundred years. So the unique mix of Paris and the modern Olympics together will make it a pretty cool backdrop for the biggest sporting event in the world. And we can't wait to be here in a year and share it with everybody back home. All right, we are just one year out from the Olympics there in Paris. NBC's Mike Tirico joining us live. Mike, thank you for your time. We appreciate it.